Good day, everyone. I am John, your moderator for this webinar on the behalf of the organizer company called Conference Panel. I welcome everyone for today's webinar, which is called HIPAA and the Administrative Fiona, how HIPAA does or does not protect you when government comes calling for your patient record and you are in trouble. So now I would like to introduce our presenter for today, Mark Brangerman. Mark Brangerman is an experienced attorney in administrative and professional licensure law, representing a wide variety of professional clients from licensed individuals, healthcare practitioner, to licensed healthcare facilities, and many others. As a frequent participant in continuing education, Mark has been a presenter for over 30 national and state organizations and private companies as Kentucky Bar Association, Kentucky Office of the General Attorney General, National Attorney General Training and Research Institute, and the Federation of Association of the Library League Boards. So now I would like to hand over the floor back to our speaker. Over to you, Mark. Thank you, John, and it's a pleasure to be here uh, with Compliance Panel today. We still have people logging on, and I welcome everyone to uh, jump on board and make sure that you are rip and ready to go for today's Tuesday webinar. Uh, this is Mark Brenglin. I'll be your presenter today for HIPAA and the Administrative Subpoena, how HIPAA does or does not protect you when the government comes calling and you are in trouble with your patient records. We're going to cover a little bit more broadly than that, uh, and I think you'll find this an interesting and updated webinar on what you might call a core or basic topic. So note that the title says, when the government comes calling, because that could be in a wide variety of federal, criminal, or civil matters, or state licensure board matters, which I will focus on as an example. HIPAA and the Administrative Procedure, we want to cover all these things. So with goals of the content of this program, what it does and doesn't cover, it does provide a broad overview of HIPAA confidentiality issues and exceptions for HIPAA uses, especially for state licensure boards and agencies. Uh, remember that uh, the HIPAA is a federal right of privacy. Uh, HIPAA, I won't go into the whole uh, history of HIPAA, obviously, beyond the scope of this. Many exceptions for law enforcement officials exist to obtain records. Another side note about HIPAA requiring medical records in the first place. So with uh, HIPAA confidentiality with patient consent, there's implied consent for insurance filings, billing. What about law enforcement exceptions? This comes under the uses and disclosures for which an authorization uh, by the client. So with administrative subpoenas, that will come under the health oversight activities of the Code of Federal Regulations governing HIPAA. So with an overview of HIPAA exceptions for the administrative subpoena, we will discuss disclosures for judicial and administrative proceedings. So with additional disclosures for judicial and administrative proceedings, um, there are requirements for the purpose of this certain identified section. So how do you protect yourself in the HIPAA and administrative subpoena realm? Now, let's focus on exceptions to HIPAA privacy as applied by law enforcement agencies with an emphasis on state licensure boards and agencies and how to protect yourself. So. How to protect yourself. State agencies have the power to issue an administrative subpoena. Again, more on how to protect yourself. So how can you comply with the request for protected health information when the patient is in trouble and law enforcement is involved or when you are in trouble? How to protect yourself. When the patient is in trouble and law enforcement is involved or when you are in trouble, there are ways to maintain confidentiality. So know the difference between a civil and criminal investigation as to which is which. Let's review HIPAA and the administrative subpoena and some conclusions. Top takeaways, uh, understand the exceptions to HIPAA privacy for law enforcement. Wow, we have managed to end early with the content and, <laughs> and still run over on time, people. We're a minute and a half over. Back to you at conference panel. Sure, Mark. Uh, with this, I uh, believe like we conclude this session for today, Mark. And thank you so much, Mark, and everybody to join this conference room. Have a great day, everyone.